Today we're going to make a couple of, well actually I'm going to make six of them, door handles made out of horseshoes. And they open, they've got a little peg here uh, that keeps them locked and then you open them just like that. Alright, let's get started making them. This is all my parts laid out and uh, this is some inch and a half by one eighth strap that I bought at the um, steel supply store. You can also get it at like uh, Tractor Supply um, or even Home Depot has that. This is uh, all of these are where the uh, the rods going to slide through, and I cut these off uh, with a bandsaw. You could also use a hacksaw or even a pipe cutter. I cut them off of some old rusty uh, pipe that I had laying around. And these, the rods, go in there. Kind of a loose fit, but that's okay. Uh, you know, these are going to be barn doors, and so some of this stuff will get kind of knocked out of alignment over time. And then, I'm making six of these. That's why you see so many parts. Um, and then these are the little pins that the horseshoe falls over to keep it locked. And then these little pieces make the piece that uh, the bolt slides into. And then, of course, these, these are the horseshoes over here. Okay, let's get set up to uh, start welding. Here's my setup. And I'm just using this to kind of hold things together for me. So I need one of the base plates. And I cut this piece of wood, since I've got to do six of them, to help line it up. And I just bring this to the front and then slide it underneath this brick. Well... Oh, I've got to hang it off the end here so I can attach the electrode. Okay, hang on. There we go. And then here's a couple of my pieces of pipe. And this is actually a rod that's bigger than the bolt that's going to slide through there. Uh, because if I use the bolt, it's not just a real tight fit and they could get out of alignment. So I'm using this because they just they, they can't get much out of alignment with that. So I slide it up on there, just let it lay against that back plate, line it up on both ends, just like that, and then I'll give it a little spot weld to hold it. Alright, that's got those two pieces on there. You can see they're nicely aligned. Next thing I want to do is get this pin put in. It won't take much to hold that. Next thing, I'll slide the bolt in, and we got to get our horseshoe on. I've got my bolt in here, got the electrode on it, and then I've got it up, pushed up against this brick to kind of hold it in place. I got a little piece of wood up underneath my horseshoe to raise it up a little bit so that it's not sitting down underneath my rod. I've got it lined up on the end right there so that's as far as it can travel when you close it and I think I'm ready to attach it that part is finished. 
All right, I gotta make five more of those. Let me get these, uh, I guess they're called a keeper. I don't know what this thing would be called, but anyway, get these um, welded up. And I'm just gonna kind of line it up like that by eyeball. Put a big clamp on it. it. Looks pretty good. I can just attach the ground to my clamp. That's got that part done. That's got the last of these installed. It was a pretty fun project. Uh, it took a little while to get all the little parts made and to uh, weld it up was pretty easy. But I'm real happy with the way that they came out. They're going to work really well. Um, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching.